Did you know that there are powerful command line options for trim and extend in AutoCAD? Let's take a look. If you've used AutoCAD for any amount of time, you're aware of the fact that trim and extend will allow you to either trim objects at intersections or extend objects until they meet other objects in your drawing. But trim and extend are sister commands, which means that while you're using one, if you hold shift, you get the other command. For example, if I'm in the trim command here and I'm busy trimming objects, if I hold the shift key down, I end up getting extend and it will allow me to extend lines until they meet other objects in my drawing. And if I let up on the shift key, it takes me back to the trim command so that I can go back to regular trim. Likewise, if I'm in the extend command, I can come in here and I can extend my objects, but then if I want to trim, I can hold the shift key down and I can trim objects. And then when I'm done, I can let up on shift and I can go back to extending them. So I can extend, you can only extend to objects that intersect. But wait, there's more. Let me undo a couple times here, go back to where we were. When I enter the trim command, the first option on the command line is cutting edges. If my, ob if my object in trimming here was to get rid of all of these segments in the middle, I can do that with the regular trim command, but I have to click several times to get all of those trimmed out. On the other hand, if I go to trim and I say let's select cutting edges, I can say I want this as a cutting edge and this as a cutting edge. When I'm done selecting objects, I can press enter and then I can select the edges or the objects that I want to trim. In this case, it allows me to trim everything and it ignores all of these in the middle. Another object, or another option that is very handy when you're using the trim and extend commands is the erase option. If I come in here to trim and then I choose the erase option, it allows me to erase an entire object without actually having to trim it. That's actually probably more handy while I'm in here and I'm saying trim, 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 and then I say, oh, I want to get rid of that one completely. I can say E for erase, and then, pardon me, R for erase, and then trim that one out. Additionally, <clears throat> the things, this, it works the same way with extend. If I come in here to extend, let's say I wanted to extend all of these lines down here to this line. Well, I could do it, and I could do it one at a time, click, 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 or I can say, let's choose the boundary edge. So I can say, this is my boundary edge, enter, and then I want to extend that one, that one, that one, and so on. And it uh, makes it so that I don't have to keep pick, 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 pick to get things extended. One final nice thing that you can do with the trim and extend commands is you can do projected trim and projected extend. In order to change this, you actually have to, or to do this, you actually have to go back to a classic mode of using the trim and extend command. So notice one of the options here is mode, and I'm going to go back to standard. Standard is the way the trim and extend commands worked before about 2020. But notice now that when I'm in this command, if I come into the standard mode trim, it's telling me right off the bat, I have to select cutting edges. So I can say, okay, well, let's see. This is my cutting edge, enter, and then I can pick the things that I want to trim. Now notice that when I trim, this object does not extend to the other side, so I don't have the erase option by picking it, but I can still pick it here. One other thing that's very nice about the classic mode though is I can say trim. <clears throat> if I want to say, you know, here is my, let's, let's do this one. Let's say this is my cutting edge. It doesn't intersect anything. But what I can do is I can say, let's change the edge mode and say extend. So now it pretends that this line extends through all of these and I, it still allows me to trim. So I can trim either that side or that side, and that's where those two would intersect. 
I can trim either that side or that side. Okay. So again, to do that, I'll say let's go to trim, and I pick my cutting edge first. I'll do this one this time, and then I want to say edge, and now it's saying, do you want to extend? Yes, I want to extend, and now it will either trim that one or that one. Okay, and it works the same way with extend. If I come in here and I say let's use the extend command, it's asking me for the boundary edge. I can say this is the boundary edge. Now it, that line will not intersect this one, but when I go to my, uh, in this case I'll say edge, and I want to say edge is extend, then I can extend that one out and it'll extend to where that one would intersect if they were to intersect. So a couple extra tools that you may not have known about in the trim and extend commands. Thanks for watching.